All right, welcome back to the channel. It's good to be back now. Today we have a real treat. I've installed the Mars Hydro new controller. Let me turn that baby on. It uh, automatically turns off the display after so long. Anyway, I have installed this thing. It took me a little bit of time to figure it out. I still need to change the temperature from Celsius to freedom units. Now we know you can't grow in Celsius, so we gotta fix that ASAP, ASAP. So I don't know who said that, I think it was pigeons, but anyway, it is kind of funny. Um, so we need to change that from Celsius to Fahrenheit. But how do I like this new controller, right? Because we didn't, I didn't have a controller. You can see they didn't really even have holes or anything where you can put a controller. Um, I don't know if the intent was always to hang it off the side of the tent or you can do the rail system if you have a tent that has a, I guess, a rail inside of it. Uh, mine just has bars, so I was like, I'll just opt for the outside option and hook it up that way. I still need to run my wires. I just kind of now have everything um, equipment-wise set up. But I did have a little bit of a problem with setting up my my controller and that was because I didn't pay attention to the diagram. So when you're setting up your exhaust, your inline fan, if it's a Mars Hydro one or whatever, um, that's gonna go under the device, the device freaking whatever you call it, the uh, um, phone jack. So um, I was thinking it was gonna hook up to the fan one. So I tried hooking the exhaust up to the fan one and it just would not work, wouldn't connect to the app. As soon as I hooked it up to the right port, which is the device one for the inline fan, the exhaust basically, uh, it worked immediately. So that was really nice. It's nice having the fans on there. Um, I'm gonna show you the app. I'm gonna screen record some of it here and you can see some of the different functions. Uh, a couple things that I like, you can change the oscillation of the fan. I believe it's also available manually, if I'm not mistaken, obviously the speed, you have natural wind as an option, which isn't, I don't think is an option just manually on these things, but it is on the app software side. So I like that. What else? Um, my light, I do not have a Mars Hydro light yet. Hopefully one day, just got to save up a little bit to get the one I want. But this is just a regular one off of Amazon. It's a butterfly farm, super cheap. Uh, I just, that was my budget at the time. And now it's like, yeah, if I upgrade, I need to go a little beyond what I have. This is a 320 watt, so I need at least a 300 watt or a 400 plus one. So that's kind of what I'm saving for. But anyway, shocked to me that I was able to hook up this light to the controller. And I'll show you here in the app. But yeah, I can dim it. I can do the sunset feature. This light doesn't come with the sunset feature, but they're able to do it software side. And you can control how long you do that? How long is the sunset sunrise? Well, you can do one minute sunrise, sunset, or you can do up to 30 minutes. So I think that's pretty cool. That is something that I think other apps don't have yet. Maybe some of them do, but I think the Vivo Sun one is it's either on or off. And the Mars one is actually customizable. So I do dig that. Definitely gonna use the sunset feature. I know Bruce Bugby says that, uh, you know, they, you know, whatever he said, I'm not gonna quote him actually, but uh, I believe Nick said that just because Nick, Nick Alive from Rooted Leaf said that just because it can take the full force to LED, turn it on instantly, doesn't mean that it should. So, um, so I'm doing the sunset sunrise feature. I, I dig it, I like it, I wanna be closer to the outside um hell have you seen outside plants i mean pff, dude i've seen the same stuff i was growing the skywalkers that i over vegged for like what five six months those same ones outside i seen somebody i seen felipe felipe grew those outside and they're monsters no change other than well two two changes right you got the sun which was a change and then he's got sip buckets, which is basically an earth box, but you know, whatever, just different, different setup, more of a five gallon side. And those things are just freaking monsters. Um, so I want to mimic that outside nest as close as I can. You know, obviously I don't have a sun in here, 
but I got this LED light and I'm gonna mimic the sunrise sunset through the app so anyway I'm gonna show you the app here and uh, just some of the quick features you know so you can take a look for yourself but overall I say I'm I'm fairly impressed I'll give it four out of five stars I think the design could use a little update I think it's very functional but I don't think it's very like you know design friendly like basically I don't want to scroll through to my controller at the end I just want a nice home page open the app boom there's all the info right there instead it's like uh, you kind of have these categories and then you find the the thing that you want and then I don't know it's a little more hunt and peck than I like but overall I'm pretty happy that Mars has a controller now and it works with my existing light and everything's hooked up I'm gonna rerun these cables and get that all figured out um it did turn out that my new hydrometer is not reading accurate or my old one isn't reading accurate but this one lines up more with the hydrometers that i have just laying around like i have a couple on the lights you know and those can be kind of wonky so i always kind of compare an average on those and then i have this one here as well so um everything was just reading a bit different um, but the new hydrometer was reading much higher. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go with the old one and I'm gonna say with those Just be careful, you know, if it seems odd just get some other ones and compare it. make sure that Whatever you have monitoring your system is as close to accurate as possible um, Because I'm, I'm tuning all this whole system based on you know those readings. So if these are wrong then everything's everything's wrong basically right so um yeah anyway that's it the mars thing is going good i'm happy i'm gonna rerun all these wires and get it looking pretty because it, it's just right now it is functional and the design is crap i'm doing the same thing <laughs> as as the mars app but now that i know everything works now i can get uh everything ran appropriately and uh and better because right now this is bugging the crap out of me but um but yeah now i know it works everything's good love the new mars controller uh everything it's good nice to have um has it really changed anything for me yeah absolutely actually because before i didn't have control over my dimming and uh or anything over the light so if it was too hot i'd have to like call mrs what am i calling her i had i'd have to call mrs k and tell her to come in um what is that oh look it's just a light okay that looks like i had some dust right here you know <laughs> anyway let's not go there but i don't do that but anyway i would have to call mrs k and be like hey unzip the tent open the door so we can get some some cooler air in there it's getting too hot now i can turn down the light or even the app can turn down the light and and we're good so anyway i'm gonna show you a little bit of this app and uh, what you can do so take a look at her or not i'm just going to give you a quick showdown on that and we out so thanks for watching appreciate you guys um you know commenting and and uh giving me tips i know i got this an earth box tip uh the other day tips actually and uh i appreciate the hell out of that because i am a new grower i'm new to the earth boxes i'm new to just this whole thing in general i don't know everything i don't and uh I love this plant. I love learning about it. I love how unique it is. I like, I like how you can grow several different ways. Uh, not several, like thousands, really. Uh, you know, even between me and Felipe, we even have the same plants, and uh, like they're expressing different. Like it's, you know what I mean? It's it's so cool that just little things just change it, you know. But but we're all growing. We're all learning, and it's uh, you know I think I'm growing as much as the plants are, really. So anyway, that's enough of the sentimental BS. I'm out.